push-button shift selector. Presentation of the push-button shift selector. The Allison transmission communicates with the driver with the help of the push-button shift selector. Once the ignition is on, the digital display is on. The first number is the highest forward range available. The second number is the range attained in the selected position and the spanner symbol indicates that the prognostic system is active. N and N indicates that neutral is selected and attained. R selects reverse gear. N selects neutral. The area around the N button is a raised ridge so the driver can identify this push button by touch, without looking at the display. It is not necessary to press this button prior to starting the vehicle. D selects the highest available forward range. The upshift and downshift arrows are used to change the range selected to a higher or lower forward range. One press on the downshift arrow sets range select to the same forward range as the current forward range attained, shown in the monitor position of the display. This type of select is called an express pre-select. Each subsequent press of the downshift arrow decreases the range selected by one range. One press of the upshift arrow increases the range selected by one range. If the upshift or downshift arrow is held continuously, the selected range will continue to change up or down until the button is released or until the highest or lowest possible range of gears is selected. The mode button can be pressed anytime after engine start to activate an alternative shift schedule, which is typically an alternate economy or performance shift schedule. To toggle to the next diagnostic trouble code while in DTC mode, to clear active and inactive diagnostic trouble codes from transmission control module memory, the mode display illuminates while in secondary shift schedule. Frequently, Either performance or economy shift points are selected for the primary shift schedule and the other set of shift points are selected for the secondary shift schedule.